Welcome Survivor! Previously I made a Mythmaster regarding the lane claim block and whether it blocked spawns the way it's supposed to do. But people are asking how does the bedroll figure into this? How does that one work? And uh, I thought hey let me make a test a similar test like I did for the lane claim block. Now keep in mind I am doing this on a local multiplayer server so it's not a single player and the reason is because I'm changing the default server config.xml setting to make the bedroll spawn zone blocking to 300 blocks from the usual I think it's 15 or something. People did suggest that the lane claim block failed because it wasn't using the default settings and it wasn't in single player. And that is possible, definitely possible, but it's just really hard to test that out as a player. A dev might be able to do it much easier by, you know, inspecting various variables and stepping through the code to see what's really happening. As a player, you can't really do that. My view is that if a setting exists and changing it, if not using it at the default setting, if that breaks something, it means the feature is broken, at least partially broken. As they say, a clock that is broken might still tell the correct time twice a day and that's not enough it needs to do it all the time or at least most of the time so it's possible but we don't really know if there's a setting change that breaks it but either way land claim block i don't think it properly blocks spawns the way it's supposed to be doing so this time we're going to check spawns with a bedroll i'm going to go through pui spawns biome spawns screamer hordes to some degree wandering hordes and blood wound hordes I have placed down a bedroll, like you can see, which I did with the zombie spawns disabled. So nothing was here. When I restarted the server, I am turning on the zombies again, zombie spawning. So everything should be spawning as per usual. And we'll see if that really impacts the spawning. It's gonna be interesting. Make sure to place your bets on what will work and what will not work before I do all the tests. I hope you enjoyed this mechanic test and exploration. Yet another Mythbuster video from Vidui Incorporated. We also build bases, but all are sold out until Alpha 18. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll follow back all gaming channels at the very least. And of course, join my Discord after you subscribe. And for some more fun, why not check out my Twitch, follow and catch me stream. But I'm back here on the server, my local server, with zombie spawns enabled. But let's have a look at the, what the server config.xml file says about this bedroll dead zone size. And I've changed it up to 300. And it says, this is the size of the bedroll dead zone. No zombies will spawn inside this area and any cleared sleeper volumes that touch a bedroll dead zone will not spawn after they've been cleared. Interesting. That's that actually not fully explanatory because the first part says that no zombies will spawn inside this area but that should include sleeper volumes whether they've been cleared or not cleared but let's say that it, that's not entirely what it does maybe it only does the sleeper volumes after they've been cleared but let's see do we see any actually i can do an alley to see if i see any zombies there are actually no zombies here at all okay so maybe it blocks, would it be blocking normal zombies as well? Possibly. Let's give myself uh, some experience because maybe it's the, the, the new player XP. Let's do this. All right. At least now we're high level. Maybe it's because when you start a new character, there is a slight dead zone, even though I've moved around, but you never know. So at least that one should not matter. Let's go and see whether at the Jimbo's Beer, 99 cent worms and Pals Marina, where there are any zombies here. I am in God mode, obviously. Uh, apparently, not good enough. Okay, so there are zombies here that are definitely spawning. So, sleeper zombies the first time. Definitely, definitely will be spawning. Now let's go look a little bit. So we are going to clear this one because this one is reasonably small. All right, I see you saw that one actually spawn in right in front of me. Let's uh, make a little bit of noise to see if we can get them started. There's one, here's the dog. We're just gonna clear those ones out which is pretty easy using the admin gun. All right, here's one more. Here's one. Oh, they almost survived. Anything else in here? Nope. Anyone hiding? 
I don't think so. Okay, I think this one looks like it's actually been cleared. So he was definitely dead. No one here. Ellie says that there's no more zombies, which means these ones probably despawned because I left the area. So, okay, so I'm going to change the time. Again, my bedroll is, is here. I'm going to replace it just to show that, you know, it's been placed after everything was cleared. I think if I go back here, everything should still remain cleared. Again, with the time hasn't moved. Do an alley. Yeah, there's nothing here. So this one is fine. Let me uh, forward up the time. I'm going to shift the time forward to another five days because it takes five days. Actually, let's do a six days because it that's the time. Actually, it takes five days to have a respawn. Let's do a set time seven, 12, zero, zero. And it's now day seven, which is a Blood Moon Horn, obviously. Now let's see if the zombies respawn here. Because it's definitely within the 300 and we're getting the airdrop. All right, all right. Quiet down a little bit, quiet down. Don't disturb us. Let's see, what do you think? Are these ones going to have respawned? Actually, it looks like nothing did respawn. Okay, there is a supply crate. Yeah. Actually, nothing respawned here. They did spawn the first time, but they definitely are not respawning the second time. And they should have done that by now. Okay, so I think that shows that at least respawns are blocked. First spawns are not. Interesting. Let's uh, go and redo that on the, this one because this again is a fairly straightforward one to clear because it's literally just out here and the, and the nowhere. All right, so that one is dead. Anything else? I think that's about it. Ali, any, nope. Nothing. Okay. And you might think that this is really good PUI uh, if there's a zombie apocalypse, but unfortunately, during Blood Moon Holes, they will they might just spawn and go and destroy all these ones. So, might not be the best. Okay. So there are no more zombies left here. Let's go back to actually. Let's go back to here. Back to shore. And uh, let me do another few days. Let me do another week. Let me do day thirteen. Actually, day. 20 and uh, let's see now if they were respawning that should have been done because it's five days later and let's go have a look have they respawned and we got another airdrop no nothing is respawning so yeah it does look like again i've shifted the time forward and you might think that hey you know it's because that uh, something is broken, that it should have been respawning, even though it's not. But for now, let's continue. I am now here. There are no biome spawns. So you notice there are actually no biome spawns around. And that seems to indicate that biome spawns are actually not happening either. And that's really peculiar, because I thought that the biome spawns definitely would be. But by right, there should be some at least. Um, if I go... Yeah, let me assume I go really far away. So we are now at 1602 West. Let's go over here. Let's go over there. Let's do this. So this is outside of the bedroll. The bedroll uh, dead zone. And yeah, there are biome spawns. See, came immediately. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, so let's go back here. Are there any biome spawns here at all? We should be able to check that pretty fast. No. So there are none. That means that the bedroll will actually block biome spawns as well. That's really peculiar. I was not anticipating that. Good to know. So that's the question now. If I uh, spawn in some screamer, spawn scouts. Let's get in a few scouts. 
few of them just to make it a little bit faster if they scream will that cause zombies to spawn and that's uh, going to be fairly interesting to see because i was expecting that the biome spawns would also be blocked as uh, would also be working but they they're they're actually blocked let's do an alley Oh, I'm not even able to spawn in any screamers because I've set it so high. Aha. Uh -huh. So the screamers are not able to spawn in either because they are spawning within the... Okay, how do we get that done then? Because I think if I spawn a screamer manually... Yeah, the screams will never spawn in something else. Yeah, you see nothing is coming here. And I think if I redo this. All right, let's if I do that over here. I don't think they were going to see any screamer. I don't think we're going to see any other screamer horde spawns either. Yeah, none. The reason being that uh, spawned in screamer seems to work slightly differently. I mean, there's some of them, but I don't think that's the screamer zombies because then they would be moving over towards me and they're not. Yeah, you see none of them. Okay, so how do we do that? So the screamers themselves will not spawn with a bedroll uh, dead zone size. But let's try a Blood Moon Horde. Now we are at day 22. Uh, set time at let's see 28 and let's do 21 50 so this should be a blood mood horde night and we still have the bedroll is still active and we'll see if they actually come in here it looks fairly quiet actually Anything spawning? I'm actually looking at the console right now. It's actually not even spawning on the server. Hell yeah, there is nothing spawning. Which means that a big enough bedroll will even block Blood Moon Horde spawns. Okay, that's really peculiar. I was not expecting that. Um, what we can do though, again, to make sure we are checking this and it's not because of the uh, the game or something being bugged. Let's do another time. Oh yeah, now I see immediately I'm getting spawns. Yeah, yeah. You see? Spawns are definitely occurring. As soon as I moved over here, they did, and let's move over here, and we should not be getting any spawns here. Let's see, where's my bedroll? Behind me. Ah, here it is. Yeah, we're not getting any alley. No, nothing. But if I pick it up... Are we gonna get spawns? We're not. Uh, I was expecting that to happen, kill all. I was expecting that to re-trigger the spawning, but maybe it's already been seen as no spawn. But let's check that again. Let's do set time. Let's go up another uh, seven days. Let's do this. 35, 55. So that we're back and we have another Blood Wound Horde one week later. But there's no bedroll, so there shouldn't be any spawn blocking size here. This one should be respawning. And we're going to check that after the Blood Moon Horde. And I see... No. Okay, so... Something has happened with this area. That's really peculiar. There's actually nothing being spawned. No here. So there's no bedroll and still there's no 
All right, let's see are these ones respawning then no nothing here either so even without the bedroll this whole area seems to have been uh, marked as inaccessible in some way okay now i'm getting a feeling this is fairly peculiar we are going to put down our bedroll here then kill all let's see if we are gonna get nope all right we're gonna forward the time this is really peculiar i have to say this is really peculiar 41 let's do 41 which is not a blood wound hold but just to get up the uh, actually get up the time 12 okay so now there is a bedroll here and there are okay kill all no more zombies around okay there's then a poi next to me yeah there's no poi that's all right we can always find another one. Oh, there's this one uh which might be out of out of view actually pick this up let's go a little bit closer it's probably within but you know let's make sure Ali, nothing. All right, let's see here if they are spawning. I find the results here fairly peculiar. Okay, nothing spawning here. Oh, but this one. Oh, there are. Okay, there are. Okay, so there are some sp spawns here at least. Okay. There might not be a lot of them because this is sort of one of the starter one. Ellie, kill all. Okay, so at least she's dead. Fine. Right. Now let's check again. I don't think there are any biome spawns, so definitely the biome spawns seem to be blocked. Uh, let's try the Blood Moon Horde again then. Set time 42, 21, 55. Are we gonna get any blood wound zombies here? Or is something else going on? Let's check the console. No. Okay, so this is, I pick this up. Does it trigger anything? Nope. If I go over here, Yeah, yeah, now the Blood Moon Party is coming in. I, I see it in the console immediately. I use, you can see them here as well. If I put it down, does it stop them if I do a kill all? Yes. Nothing is actually spawning. You can see there's definitely nothing coming in here. There's no new entities. I think they're death true. Yeah, you can see it says death true, which means they're dead. So definitely the bedroll will even block Blood Moon Horde spawns. And the good thing about that, actually, I mean, you're not going to have a, a bedroll that is as big as this one, but it means that they will at least not spawn inside your base if you're covering them with a, with a bedroll. And if I pick this up, it's actually not re-triggering it for some reason. I think if I go over here, it will re-trigger it. And I think if I go back here, it will probably not. Yeah, this area has now been locked as no spawn if i go back to original area ah now it does okay so maybe it's because it still remembers the last one somehow that could be it that is still fairly confusing so this is where i was before okay now it's doing it okay this i guess maybe it has to unload the chunks and reload them before they will actually decide that they are going to Okay, don't beat me. Uh, before it's going to refresh things. Okay, so that's fairly peculiar. Hmm. Okay, let's do a set time. Let's go back to uh, the next day. And let's do a 12. And, and the reason I want to do that is because I want to see if we can get this one to respawn. 
Now, I removed the bed rule. I have left it so chunks have unloaded. Uh, the Blood Moon Horde is definitely spawning. And it's been more than five days. So, are these ones going to respawn? They are. Okay. So, definitely. It is blocking these ones. Now, they're respawning. And let's see if... Uh, there are biome spawns as well. Okay. All right. So, at least that part is, is really confirmed. All right. Let's kill them. We're going to do a last thing. We're going to try a Wandering Horde. Um, and Wandering Hordes are... Let's see if there's anything else. I think they're all dead. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Spawn Wandering Horde. Okay. Let's see if that one is bringing it in. No, it does want to bring them in. All right. Let's change the time. Sometimes it doesn't want to do it because there were other things happening. Let's go up to 45. And spawn wandering horde. It says wait one hour. So I'm going to wait here a little bit. See if I can get uh, the wandering horde to spawn in. And of course this is with the bedroll here. It's going to take one hour in game. Which of course just five minutes. But no one wants to wait five minutes and stare at nothing. Alright. So the wandering horde just tried to spawn. And it failed. And I think that's because it can't find a valid spawn point because my bedroll is here. So I definitely think that again, that shows that uh, even wandering hordes are not going to spawn if it's within the bedroll dead zone size. And of course, normally, you know, it, you won't have this much blocked. But since this basically blocks everything with around me, um, it definitely is not going to allow wandering horde to spawn because I think they spawn, you know, 75 blocks something away 50 75 definitely below 100 and uh, since this is blocking more than that it's not even going to find a normal spawn point and i think that's about it so let's do a quick recap pi spawns bedroll does not block pi spawns but the bedroll will definitely block the respawns so that's sort of what it says in the config file now biome spawns Definitely confirmed those are fully blocked by the bedroll. Screamer hordes, the screamers are also blocked by the bedroll. Now, whether if you can manage to get a screamer in and it screams, will the zombies that it spawns in come within the bedroll zone? That's a little bit harder to test, apparently. Um, I don't think they will. I guess I'd leave that to you, but I would say if the screamer cannot spawn, then of course the screamer horde is not going to come either. Wandering Hordes also seem to be blocked. If it can't find a valid place to spawn, it's not going to happen. So in this case, definitely confirm the bedroll will stop it. And Blood Moon Horde, same. It is definitely blocking the Blood Moon Horde. If I'm here with the bedroll, there's not going to be any Blood Moon Horde around because the spawn blocking is too big. If I go somewhere else, they will start spawning immediately. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. So... Did all this work as anticipated? I think it's some interesting results. Good, maybe it's due to being on an MP server. Maybe it's because of changing some of the settings. Maybe it's something else. Maybe single player works slightly differently. What do you think? Is this what you thought? Should some of this have been tested in a different way? Let me know. Have a wonderful time and good luck with your zombie slaying. And uh, make sure put down your bedroll. Now, I've always had problems with my bedroll and my single player that uh, it would get inactive now and then. But I guess that's a totally different story. See you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.